Howdy y'all, welcome or welcome back to the channel. I'm James and this is Clearwater Fishing. And dang, today we got another doozy for you. We're gonna do an on the water comparison of the Mercury Spitfire prop. This is a 14 pitch prop and the Black Max. It's also a 14 pitch prop uh, and it's a three blade prop. So we have a four blade versus three blade today. We're gonna be testing top speed, obviously, time on plane, uh, any other differences we may notice out there on the water. Uh, we're gonna be looking at the max RPMs as well. And what we're gonna be testing it on today is my Bass Tracker, the Pro Team 175. We have a 60 horse Mercury on the back of it. Uh, it runs, most of the time I've been running it with a four blade prop. I switched from the Black Max a while back. We'll get into that later but it's performed very well with actually both props, but I've never really done an on the water comparison of both back to back and see how big of a difference their performances are. So by the end of the video, I should give you some recommendations on which prop you should run for which scenarios you're looking to run in. Uh, if you don't have a bass tracker like this, you could still learn some valuable information from this video from a three blade to a four blade prop of the exact same size uh, and the exact same pitch. You should be able to see the differences there and how they perform, uh, especially when you go from a Black Max to a Spitfire on your boat, whatever you're running, you should see something similar to that. So before we head out to the water, I do wanna take each of these props and show it to you up close. So that way you guys have a visual of what these props look like and what they may be doing under the water. Well, let's head on over and look at these guys up close and personal. All right, so here we have the Black Max prop. This is the oldest prop that I have. The one that originally came with my Bass Tracker. So first thing I wanna talk about is this one is a 14 Mitch prop. Um, kind of hard to show on the camera, especially with lighting and cameras, but it's a 14 pitch prop. Uh, next thing I wanna talk about is the diameter of this prop. This prop has a diameter of 10 and 3 8 inch. I just measured it earlier using my you know, old trusty tape measure and a block of wood. So, y'all trust me on that one. So 10 and 3 eighths. Now real quickly, just talk about that same information about this Spitfire prop, Mercury Spitfire, four bladed prop, also a 14 pitch prop as well. This one comes in at 10 and a quarter inches in diameter. So just a eighth of an inch smaller in diameter, a little less uh, prop there as far as physical appearance across uh, really not noticeable to the eye, but it is a little bit of a difference So next thing I want to do is I want to take you guys through the prop configuration and show you kind of how they look So this is the black max again. This is the three blade and at first you're going to see an extremely aggressive curve here now this uh, has a, a cup here it's cupped and then it eventually as we turn and rotate through the water it really does flatten out to where it's almost flat. Uh, there's not a whole lot of cup to this uh, blade. I mean, you can still see that there's a cup here. You know, as my finger disappears and comes back, there is some cup and it dissipates as the further along you go, uh, but it's not an aggressive cup. Now switching on over to the Spitfire here. I'm gonna go through it as well. It also starts off pretty aggressive. Now you'll note it, note that this prop here, the blade is not nearly as long as the Black Max blade was. The Black Max blade, sorry, I'm dinging it here. It goes from to the exhaust all the way to the entry. So it's a pretty large blade in general. The Spitfire does not nearly come out that far. So we have from here about halfway. So that's a big difference. But the, the beginning here is pretty aggressive, an aggressive cupping. Uh, and I would say the cup, let's, I'm trying to get it to where you can see it. Let's bring it on over to the center where you can see the cupping. It's pretty equal to that of the Black Max. Now the overall single blade size is definitely a big difference between the Black Max and the Spitfire here. I'll put one right next to one another. Let's see if I can get them 
roughly in the same shot. Big difference from here to here as far as overall volume and size here. And that's really the big size difference between the two blades. Now obviously this one has four blades and this one has three, so it makes up for uh, one size by having another whole prop. I put the Black Max prop on a fishing scale, so it comes in roughly Mm, 2.53 pounds so not too heavy now let's compare the Spitfire real quick pretty much the exact same weight 2.51 pounds so before we head out to the water I want to give you guys a quick idea of what you're going to be watching first of all we're going to have the outboard here we're going to have a camera looking straight at it so you can watch me trim in and out and as we accelerate and see how the prop performs during acceleration. Next is we're gonna have a camera on my fish finder which will be up here on the console. I have it disconnected right now. But it'll be up here on the console. We'll ha have a camera on it and you'll be able to see the speed from there. Lastly, we're gonna have a camera also on the RPM gauge. I don't have a digital readout. All I have is this analog readout. So you'll be able to watch the RPMs on an analog gauge as well. So we'll know our max speed, we'll know our RPMs, and we'll be able to calculate our slip later on. So enough wasting time, let's get on out to the water. Okay, this is our first run with the old Black Max. Today we got a probably about a 10 mile an hour wind coming out of the southwest. So we're gonna do two runs, one going each way. Uh, so first we're gonna go with the wind uh, and then we're gonna go against the wind. Then we're gonna go switch props out. During this, we will be uh, also doing the time on plane. So whenever I'm on plane, I'll say time and uh, that will be the time for the on plane and I'll do that uh, timing it through the camera system. So let's get us turned around. Let's get the show on the road. We got lined up here a little better. All right, ready, set, go. Time. Okay, that was our first pass. The peak that I saw at 6,000 RPMs uh, was 33 almost. I think it was 32.8. Uh, we are at full tournament load here. If I was gonna be fishing a tournament, this is what I would have. I got a full tank of fuel, uh, which is how you would start your tournament off was with a fuel tank full. Uh, we got three 27 uh, batteries in there, size 27. Uh, just your normal lead acid battery so we are pretty heavy as far as this load goes i am a pretty hefty fella at 250 pounds so 
33 with the Black Max is actually not that surprising. So let's uh, turn back around and we'll do another pass against the wind. Uh, I'll do another time on plane so we can kind of average the two. I did it just by what I felt like when I was on plane and could accelerate. So let's do this again and then we will go switch props. All right, ready, set, go. Time. that was our second one uh looks like about 31.8 or so looks like about a mile per hour less uh, so this is my top speed doesn't mean it's necessarily going to be your top speed depending on the, the weight of everything you got going on the boat uh, this is pretty much the max weight i would actually even have so 32 miles per hour with the black max with the wind uh with and against the wind on average it's not too bad not too bad at all so Let's go switch out the props and uh, we'll see what the Spitfire can do. Let's go. All right guys, so it takes a lot of effort to do these kind of videos, having to pull the boat in and out of the water, purchasing two props and all that good stuff. So I would really appreciate it if you guys liked the video uh, share it with your friends if you have friends that are interested in this kind of stuff. And also, don't forget to subscribe. I'll really appreciate it if you guys subscribe to the channel. I make awesome content like this all the time, anywhere from fishing out twos to new baits to daggum. We're testing, testing out props today. So y'all stay tuned on this channel, and we'll keep, keep it coming to you. All right, so now we got the Spitfire on. We're going to do a time on plane. A uh, whole shot, if you will. Uh, top speed with the wind, and then we're going to do everything again against the wind. So I'm just trying to get into position here. We're going to kind of come up into this cut just a little bit. Kind of just like we were a minute ago. We can keep an eye on the R's and the speed. And y'all get to watch the, uh, the outboard as well. So that's kind of neat. Probably... First time for me doing that. Ready, set, go. Time.
let's get turned back around. I'm a little surprised. That was uh, pretty much the exact same speed as the Black Max. Uh, typically, the three-blade props give you a little more speed, but not in this case. Uh, it was pretty much exactly the same. I don't know if the wind had anything to do with it. We'll find out uh, when we come back against the wind. Uh, if the wind hurts us worse, uh, we'll average two speeds and we'll get some top speeds going for y'all. But man, uh, I'm pretty impressed. That was pretty much the exact same top speed. So maybe the wind had some influence. I'm, I'm really not sure. So we get lined back up, see if the whole shot's any different. So, all right, ready, set, go. Time. Okay, I'm definitely going to say uh, the wind did play a little bit more of a factor in this one. Uh, but we'll average the speeds out. It definitely appeared to be this one's going to be one mile per hour slower than the Black Max. We'll get we'll get on the, the old camera here, and I'll show you guys here in a minute. We'll average out the speeds and the time to plane. Uh, overall, time to get on plane honestly did not feel that much different. We'll see if it... If it actually was, uh, when I when I go back and look at the camera footage, but on on the water, I really really can't feel that big of a difference between the two props, so it may not be exactly worth it. Um, now, obviously, this is not a choppy day, not super choppy or anything where you're where you're smashing into waves. Uh, that might be where the advantage of the four blade comes in is when the water is rough. And you need to keep speed, but also keep hooked up as well. So uh, I know that's been the reason I've decided to stay with my four blade prop, but well, it may not be the only reason to, to use a four blade prop, prop but we'll, we'll look at the data here in a minute. All right guys, so we're back from fishing and I have all the data from our runs right here. I'm gonna present it to you, um, but there is something I wanna explain before we get into that and that is slip on a prop. So every prop has a pitch that is designed to go for. These are 14 inch props. So as they go through the water, this one is supposed to go 14 inches this way. Now obviously no prop is 100% efficient. So we're gonna have some loss to that movement. So it may only go 12 inches. So that measurement is by the number of RPMs we're going and the speed that we're observing, and we can calculate our slip. We also need uh, the crankcase gear ratio as well, but plug it into a simple calculator and you get the percentage slip that you're achieving. Typically, anything below 20% is really good. Um, if it's above 20%, you can have some modifications done, such as uh, lifting your outboard a little further up so you have a little more prop speed. Uh, the other thing you can probably do is to go to more blades on your prop. And that's typically what we observe uh, for people who are trying to reduce slip. That being said, hopefully you understand what slip is when we talk about it here in a minute. All right, so I got the numbers right here in front of me. I'll post them up here as we're talking about them. Uh, let's start off in the same order that we did our runs today, the Black Max. Uh, the top speed on the Black Max the, for the whole day was 33 miles per hour. 
We achieved that at 5950 RPMs. That had a whole shot of 10.7 seconds and that calculates out to be a slip of 23.4%. So a little bit above our 20% mark. So considering my estimated weight right now uh, is about 1800 pounds, that's actually not too bad. Uh, our second run was against the wind, so it wasn't quite as uh, performance-like, uh, but it did have some more slip and it did have a little better hole shot. The hole shot thing is a judgment call on my part, so any errors in measurement here is definitely on me because I did the best I could to estimate when I felt like I would normally trim out and start accelerating through the water. But overall, it had an average slip of 24.3%, 24, 24 average hole shot of 10.4, and it also had an average top speed of 32.5. No, pretty respectable numbers for a 60 horse bass tracker. Now let's switch on over to the Spitfire. So the very first run with the Spitfire prop surprised me in that it was at 33.1 miles per hour. I really expected it to be around 32, but it achieved that uh, 5950 RPM again, just like the Black Max, and then had a better hole shot at 9.8 seconds and a slip ratio or slip percentage here of 23.2% which you'll notice is lower than the run one of the Black Max. Just 0.2% lower, but still lower. Uh, run two, kind of the same story here. We were going against the wind, uh, lost a lot more RPM, and lost a little more speed than we observed on the Black Max. So that kind of tells you, overall, you're gonna be able to achieve more speed with the Black Max on average. The hole shot here was 10.1 seconds, so we still had a very solid hole shot. The measurements started getting closer together for me, so it tells me my measurement method is not too terrible, but it still probably is lacking a little bit. Uh, slip on the way back had 25%. You have that extra wind resistance, so it's not surprising to see a little extra wind resistance, but note that it is still less than the run two of the Black Max. So overall, comparing these two, just like I would have expected from the beginning here, is that you're gonna get more RPMs and higher speed from a three blade prop of the exact same pitch than that of a four blade prop. Now, that on the contrary, on the other side here, on a four blade prop, you're gonna have a little faster hole shot and you're gonna have a lot less slip. You're gonna see those RPMs drop but your power is actually being applied to the water for what's there. So if you have more resistance, more weight, just know you'll see, if you see that RPM drop, more work is being done to the water than on this. So it tells me that our hookup is really, really good. So less slip means you're contacting more water, you're making more work happen. So I told you at the beginning of this video, I'd be giving you a recommendation on what I thought you should purchase. Honestly, for a bass tracker, the Black Max is just fine. Now, I will say this is an aluminum prop. And aluminum props do break. They do have issues from time to time. And I would hate for any of you guys to be stranded because you hit a stump or you just bumped a stump or rolled over one and you broke, broke a blade off. Well, that's a, that's a huge bummer when you don't have a spare prop. So I do recommend you guys having a spare prop on your boat. I'm always gonna have two props with my boats uh, just in case of that scenario, even if they're stainless. Uh, I'll probably will have a spare aluminum one if I'm running a stainless one, just in case so I can get home. Now, that being the case, if you're driving a bass tractor on rough water, uh, more like me, I live up here in the Texas Panhandle, it gets really windy. And if you're gonna be driving on rougher water, I do recommend the four blade prop. It does, in my opinion, stay hooked up better when you're bouncing over waves on those days that you really need to stay hooked on and keep going and not blowing out. And that being said, if you're fishing more of these southeasterly lakes uh, that are more calm, some smaller, smaller lakes that don't get all that waves and chop while you're fishing, even on a windy day, 
leave the black max on there and just get you another spare just to get your own. Either way, in my opinion, you're not going to go wrong on a prop because overall we didn't see that large of a difference in top performance. The only thing that I have to go by is my gut feel when I'm running over choppy water. I recall this guy staying hooked up and this guy blowing out. But anyway, that's just my opinion. You guys make your own decisions for yourselves. Uh, I do highly recommend having two props and you can have two different props. It doesn't really matter. You can do your own little experiment like I've done and see which one works better for you. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this video helped you guys out learning about props, learning about their performance characteristics, and hopefully it'll help you make a decision on your very next prop. Don't forget to like the video if you enjoyed it, but just like always, until next time, get out there and go catch you some fish.